Hello, in this lesson, we're going to set up our domain names and then our prizes. But before that, we want our popular TLDs or domain names, these extensions, .com, .net, the popular ones, to appear on the front end and on top like this. And then we also want our .com to be the first TLD, okay, the default TLD. But on our site, is dot academy that is there so let's set up let's organize our tlds so i'll take you back to resellers panel over on office make sure you click on domain office page is fully loaded you can see your TLD scroll down and all these things are your tlds.com.net please these are the most popular TLDs you can see you can drag them okay you can drag so see that you can drag them so we want to drag it to the top so I'll simply take it to the top take it to the top take it to the top Here we are. Place it here on top, like this. Go down and do the same thing for the most popular ones. So I will repeat that for our .NET, and then you apply that knowledge for the rest of them. Okay. So just look at those that are popular. Drag them to the top. They are here. So we have dot net. You can send it to the top. Okay. So pick it. Send it to the top. And this is here. Beneath the word the dot com. Like this. So now when you go back to the side and then reload this page. Dot com should be the first TLD that will appear here. Okay, so now the site is still keeping cache data. That's why you are not seeing it. Just give your site some time and everything will appear normal. Okay. Next, let's go back to our control panel. And then if you want to disable a TLD, just click on this. When you click on it, that TLD will not be visible. This okay. now, if you want the TLD to have a privacy that's ID protection, make sure this star is enabled. Okay, so just leave them as they are. You can scroll down, those that are not enabled, you can see this is not enabled. You can enable it. So let me take you back to the top and we have register lock. Make sure you enable that for all of them. Enable that for all of them. Okay. Just enable all the stars. Transfer. All these domain names are transferable. You can also use this to move a TLD up and down. So this is up, this is down. Registration periods. One year to ten years. Okay. So now this is registration fee, renewal free fee, and then transfer fee. We have not yet set our price, so let's go ahead and do that. So, before that, go to domain and hosting prices. Now, you want to set promotional prices. Those users or customers who will be purchasing domain name and then web hosting, you want to give them a discounted price on the domain names. Okay. So to give them a discount on the domains, when they purchase, when they are, or when they have hosting in their cart, you want to reduce the price, the domain registration price, okay? So they'll be paying $7. And 
about the cost to you will be six and your profit will be one that's for now okay so now you can also increase it if you want you can increase it up to twenty dollars so this guy is your limit twenty dollars is your max perfect but if you're giving them discount make sure here is blue now on their renewal they will be paying as normal so that one will be set here when they are renewing this is where they will renew as a normal price so let's click on prices here you can see two tabs simple view and advanced view right now we are on the advanced view with this you can increase the price of your domain names individually okay by increasing your retail or your profit and click on what set price but if you want to use the simple view which is the best in my opinion that one you can increase your price in bulk so let's wait for it to load now we have a simple view this looks cleaner okay on top take note your max price can be 20 or your retail price your fee your domain prices can for the dot com can be 20 and below so here you can increase it by five and that means all your domain names are going to be increased by five dollars okay so guess click on sorry after you do that make sure so you do that five five or four make sure you go down 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 and then click on set prices set price and all those domain names that are eligible have been adjusted for you now we have one here that we already mark up the price so i think you can manually do that because your if you add your wholesale plus your profit it should not exceed what 20 okay so you can have your profit as 900 i think this is exactly as 20 and now let's click outside and then you are good to go so now you'll be making nine dollars from the dot com six dollars from the dot net okay but this is a high price <laughs> twenty dollars you're paying twenty dollars for a dot com domain name it's high it's expensive so what i would recommend is something like five is okay in my opinion click outside so 16 dollars is, is is not bad okay but it also depends on the people you are targeting huh yeah so you understand your consumers best or better so scroll down and we're done okay we have errors here make sure your profits and then this one will not be more than this okay so here to the same thing so this one like this it can be three because three and thirteen you get sixteen five zero so this is okay okay so it's it's a simple mathematics so this one too maybe five or let me just put four there four it's okay good and then you are done so we are done with the domain names price markups you can reload your page and everything is ready now let's go to domain promotions and 
let's see what is there and these are TLTs that are currently on discount okay these are on discount 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 so we are done with the domain name configuration the domain name prices markups all right in our next episode we're going to set up add-on something like SSL ID protection and what have you thank you for watching I will see you in the, my next lesson where we'll be talking about ID protection SSL and other extra services <music>